Hi, I'm going to try to give you a very quick run through of the WordPress SMS uh, plugin here. And uh, there's quite a quite a few features, so I might not hit everything, but um, try to at least give you a good idea of what what we have here. Um, I have installed there's four new uh, menu options here on the left when you have it installed. SMS list, SMS subscribers, SMS clients, and SMS messages. So um, We'll start with list. If you click on uh, list, you'll see uh, I have a couple set up here. You can just hit add new. This is all in the kind of the familiar um, WordPress interface. If I click on the pizza shop I've set up, we can see that um, we have uh, quite a few settings here available. So I'm just going to go uh, try to do a high level overview. You have your uh, title, which can be anything you want. No one sees that but you. You have your SMS replies. Uh, this is kind of important because you can have different replies based on the status of the user. So if they are uh, if they're a brand new subscriber, you can send them a, a message, uh, one type of message. If they're a current subscriber that's sending the keyword into your list again, they would get a different message. Uh, you could put the same message in all these, but it's up to you. But it does give you the ability to separate them. Uh, one other little thing is you can uh, insert date, kind of merge a date field in here. There's a format for that. Uh, so you could insert a dynamic date based on when they actually hit your list. So if they sent it in and you put in date colon zero with the square brackets around it, it would be today's date or the day they actually subscribe. If you insert date and then a number one, it would be the tomorrow's date and so on. Uh, if they are someone that are that's resubscribing, they've gotten off the list, they're getting back on the list, you can give them a different message. And, and if they're sending a message to uh, stop uh, messages from this list, then you can um, send a, a stop message as well. There's voice options. This is a pretty powerful feature because it allows people to get on your list without actually sending a text message. They can simply dial the phone number assigned to the list and they would... Uh, hear this greeting that you type in, which would be a text-to-speech synthesized voice, or you can upload your own audio. Uh, it could be professionally recorded or just something you record. You can upload it here. And then uh, another option is in your recording you, or your message, you could say, you know, press one to talk to a real person or to transfer to our office or to do anything. And then they will be, when they press the key, uh, any key on the pad, actually, any 0 through 9, I believe, um, they would be transferred to the number you enter here. Uh, and then you can grant access to this list to certain users. So you could say, you know, this this client user can access this list, meaning they can send to this list. And we'll go over that real quick, too. Uh, here's where you enter keywords. Here's where you assign phone numbers that are available to this list. You can have one or more numbers. Uh, here's where you can assign this list to a particular client for uh, tracking purposes mainly and using a sub account uh, on Twilio or even a whole separate account uh, that you can, it allows you to kind of separate the billing and tracking. Uh, here's notifications. This is important if you are attempting uh, maybe lead generation. So anytime someone does one of these actions that you check here, so maybe you only want to be notified on a new subscriber, um, you can just check that box and you can get the, the message they send will be sent to you via whatever email address you want here. Uh, optionally, you could have it forwarded to an, uh, your f cell phone and even a URL if you have a CRM or something that you would uh, you would like to import some these people into then you can just kind of script that out as well. That uh, I think basically covers the list. Uh, subscribers is um, pretty self-explanatory but it you know it's just a list of everyone that's in your database. One thing to note is you will have only you, each subscriber will be added only once. But if they're on multiple lists, you'll see the, all the lists they're members of here, and you can manipulate their subscriptions if you need to, or delete them. And any time you send a message to any list, uh, or maybe you broadcast to multiple lists at the same time, the if this person's a member of multiple lists, they would only get the message once. They're not going to get it three times because they're on three lists. Uh, just depends on how you send it send it out uh, another
kind of powerful feature to this is the clients. You can create uh, clients, which allows you to kind of track their usage separately, uh, how many messages they've sent this month. You can set limits, how many how many messages can they send in a given month, uh, and then when they hit their limit, they wouldn't be able to send anymore. Um, you can grab phone numbers under this client that are assigned specifically to them, and that type of thing. Then under SMS messages, to send a new message, <coughs> just click on new message, and you would enter a title that's for your reference, and then this is the body of the message. You enter here, um, which list do you want it to send to? And then uh, you can go ahead and send it. You could even actually, let's say you have a list of a thousand people for a client, uh, and you only want to send uh, maybe it's a restaurant you want to send a really good deal out, but you don't want everyone to get it right away, or maybe you want to spread the traffic out because SMS lists are, are pretty responsive when it comes to offline businesses. So if someone has a, a list of a thousand people and they send out a special offer that's good for that day, or you know, um, then it's very likely they could get overwhelmed with too many people and it end up actually making people upset that they have to wait or whatever. You could limit it to say, well, we only want to send it to 100 people on the list. And what it does is it, it churns through that list based on, uh, you know, so today you sent out to 100, you send out a message tomorrow, maybe the exact same message, it'll send it out to the next 100 people on that list. And as you just go over, <coughs> over time there. Uh, so that's kind of a cool feature. And then um, you can schedule the messages um, where you. Um, under this uh, feature here for publishing, you can set the date and time and uh, hit OK and then publish. And it will send that message in the future. Just make note of the uh, cron settings that are that are outlined here for you. And of course, make sure that your time zone is set correctly in your WordPress setup. Um, we can go into a little bit more detail on the, let's see here, Twilio settings. <clears throat> this is where you'd enter your master Twilio information and then you can actually create sub accounts down here and this is what you can attach clients to. If you need to suspend a client you can click the suspend button and it will actually uh, turn their account off. Uh, it won't delete it but it, it's just off for a bit so you don't have to um, um, worry about them being billed um, or, or continuing to using credits when they they shouldn't be, so um, then you can turn them back on when you, when you're ready or when they've paid their account. There's a few more settings under you know some of the uh, phone numbers and, and and things, but those are this is the again just a very quick uh, high level overview of um, of how this works and the features that you have available, and uh, there's more to come. There's um, uh, appointment reminders that's planned to be that will be added to this being able to send to one maybe create a one-off message uh, to one subscriber which is pretty much what the appointment reminder features would be there's um, import being able to import lists that'll be coming here pretty soon within the next month or so and uh, I've got a long list of things but um, uh, this is where it's at today and this is what you get when you um, uh, grab grab this plug in today. Thanks for checking it out.